Alrighty, my friends, in this video today, I'm going to be doing linear inequalities number three. That's right, number three, because we've already done one and do, that leads us up to numero tres. So here we go. In this one, I'm going to be looking specifically at what happens when we multiply or divide by a negative. Okay, and it's a little bit interesting what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with something simple. I'm going to start with this idea of having a negative x is less than 3. Okay, now I'm going to do some algebra here, and we're going to work with it. The first thing I want you to recognize is, okay, if I were solving for x here, what would I do? Obviously, we need to get rid of the negative. So how do we get rid of a negative in front of an x? Well, you either multiply or divide by a negative. Okay? Now, I want to show you something interesting because it's not quite as straightforward here as it seems then. Okay? First, I want you to recognize that if I take the negative x as less than 3, that's the same thing. If I put the 3 on the other side and the x on the other side, so I'm going to put the 3 over here and the negative x over here, right? What direction should my sign be? Okay, if I want it to represent the same thing, it needs to be the other direction, right? And that should make sense because the x is smaller than the 3. So the big side of the sign is going for the 3, and the small side is going for the negative x. All right? Now, what would happen? Hopefully you agree with me that those two things mean the same thing. All right? So what would happen now if I added x to the other side? Because I want x to be positive. So one way to do that would be to add x. So then I have 3 plus x is greater than 0. Now let's subtract 3. And we get x is greater than negative 3. Okay, so what I want you to notice, that means that this is the same thing as this. Okay, now most people, what they would have done in this situation if they had started with a negative x, they would have said, okay, let's multiply the whole thing by negative 1, get rid of the negative, negative 1 times the negative x is 1x, and then negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, keep the sign the same, x is less than negative 3, but that is not the case. x is greater than negative 3. This, we went through, we did things that we already knew, things that we'd already done, and we saw that the sign actually had to change directions. Okay? And so the sign, when you multiply or divide by any negative number, this sign has to flip. And so it's not going to be this direction. It's actually going to be x is greater than negative 3. All right, so let me show you an example. This was just to kind of show you the idea behind it, but let's look at an example. All right, so let's take 5 minus 3x is less than or equal to negative 13. Okay, so let's go ahead. We should subtract the 5, obviously. So now we've got negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 18. So now I want to get x by itself. To get x by itself, I need to get rid of this negative 3. That's a negative 3 times x. So i got to do the inverse, do the opposite. So divide by negative 3. So I've got x is less than or equal to 6. Oh, but, but, mid to by what are you dividing by negative? Yes, Mr. By what are you did, which means that the sign has to be flipped in the other direction. Okay, now just as further proof for this, Let's just look. Give me a number that's larger than 6. Let's say 10, because 10 is an easy number to work with. So if I say x is 10, let's plug that in. That's what the whole point of this is, right? I should be able to plug it in, see if it works in the equation. So 3 times 10 is 30, so that would be minus 30. 5 minus 30 is negative 25. Is that less than or equal to negative 13? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that means that this is correct when we flip the sign around. Now, just as further proof, choose a number that's less than 6 with when we didn't flip around. Choose 0. What happens if you put 0 in? If you put 0 in for x, you get 5 minus 0. So that would be 5 is less than or equal to negative 13.